Hello world, welcome to the 37th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. In this video, I'm going to show you how I put Shane online for everyone to interact with to help it learn. Well, uh, we're not quite there yet. Uh, the title was a little kickbait and I'm sorry. But using a Python library called Flask, I was able to build the foundations of a future website um, for Shane. The implementation and coding for this, in my opinion, is intermediate. So if you plan on following this, just make sure you have an intermediate understanding of both Python and HTML, and we'll go a little into CSS. So first, let's check out the website and see what it looks like. So we're going to run this little short code here. So we're going to press play. And then underneath it, you're going to get this dialog right here. And it's going to give you this hyperlink. And this hyperlink is to our local IP address. So if you watch video 35, where we created our own network scanner, uh, you'll remember that we accepted this specific IP address so that the scanner didn't see this because every computer uses some sort of IP address starting with 1.27 which is your local machine IP address. So we're going to click this hyperlink and run our website and there is the website. So here it is so far you can see it right here at the title it says Shane and underneath that, right here, this is that local IP address I just talked about. And then you'll see in the center, this red font and centered, uh, it's not red, it's maroon actually, but it's uh, centered and it says Shane. Underneath it is Shane's logo, again centered, and below it a dialog box that's ready for you to start a conversation. That's called a placeholder where it says start a conversation. And uh, that's about it so far. So uh, what I would like to do is either right here in between these. Yeah, probably there. I want a red Cylon eye. So for all my Battlestar Galactica nerds, you know what a Cylon is. And they have a red eye that goes back and forth. And it's kind of iconic. So I would like that as well. So in the future, this will be uh, the chat bot and people can chat with Shane to help teach him dialogue and it'll teach me how to program conversations because the world's leading chat bot right now that's online is called Mitsuku and unfortunately the developer admits that uh, he chose an anime female so you can imagine a lot of people are inappropriate on that. I'm hoping that since I'm using the gender pronoun of he on Shane and there's no uh, person's image that people are a little less uh, inappropriate, but we know how the internet works. So let's go into the code. So we are going to close this here. And so you're going to see a website.py, so your Python file. And what this is, is a modified version of the website documentation. So first and foremost, you're going to pip install flask in the command prompt. And then you can go to the Python flask website and simply copy and paste this code into your own Python file and run it. And what you'll get is a simple blank website that says, hello world. And so I've modified this a little bit the first two, these are normal. This is part of the code. This definite, this uh, function, hello world, is also part of it. But right here, you'll see a render template, home.html. And then this right here is part of the standard code. So what this is, is it's using HTML to create a template. And so in this render template, I'm saying, you have to import flask and render template. So that's a modification of this code, comma, render template. That's what you'll see here. And then instead of saying return hello world, you type return render template. And
and name it. It could be whatever name you want. And then you create a new directory in your project called templates, all lowercase. That's where you save this HTML. So if you don't know how to do that, you can go file new, oops, file, oh, sorry. You go to your project, new, and you can find an HTML file. Now I'm using Python. PyCharm community version and I'll show you why, why that matters. So in this HTML right here, again, I'm not, this isn't an HTML uh, tutorial, so you kind of have to have a standard knowledge of HTML. So this is standard HTML up to this right here. This is specialized Flask code for Python. And this is how you use a CSS a cascading style sheet of your own. So I'm not going to go into what this is, but basically Flask uses a file nomenclature that's built in called static. So you have to create your own lowercase directory called static. And that's where you put in CSS code. So this styles.css, styles.css. The rest is standard HTML that you've seen before. And again, to use an image source, the URL is in this static. And so in this style sheet that I just referenced is a simple CSS. Now, if you two are using PyCharm community and not the PyCharm professional, something is weird because it doesn't like my CSS code. So right now I'm using CSS to change the background color. So let's say we want to change it to white. Sorry about that. So white. So you save everything. Nothing's changed to this code. And then we're going to go to the website. We're going to run it. I'm going to click on it. And the background is still black. So I don't know why exactly this is like that. And I'm still trying to figure it out. But it allows me to make one update and then it doesn't see it again. And I think the reason why is because the community version doesn't exactly support CSS. And if you have professional, it has a CSS bundle plugin that you can put in there. It does recognize HTML, which is what I did here. I'm not going to walk you through the code, um, but here it is. And that's really it. So um, I think this is a little intermediate for most people. You have to understand how to use a lot of uh, this. And if you've not worked with HTML, some of this didn't make sense. But you could find plenty of videos on how to use HTML and Flask. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This, is the, uh, this will be the first video in my Flask playlist. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, liking this video and sharing with your friends. Goodbye world.